Welcome everyone to World Worship Revival Center. Bienvenidos a todos a World Worship Revival Center. Uh, it's glad to have you. It's glad to be here in front of you. Bueno estar con ustedes, estar aquí. We apologized last week. We had to. We, there was a storm. Storm in Ontario. La semana pasada una tormenta en Ontario y nos disculpamos que no pudimos estar. Sometimes we have to cancel our meetings because of the weather. A veces por debido al tiempo tenemos que cancelar las reuniones. If you ever visit us, you will know what we mean. Si nos visitan alguna vez van a saber lo que les estamos diciendo. Uh, but it's it's uh, nice to be here in front of you and just you know share our hearts. Pues bueno estar delante de ustedes y compartir nuestros corazones. And you know when sometimes we start these meetings we we say we'll have a, a word from God to you. A veces cuando empezamos esta reunión decimos que tenemos una palabra de Dios para ustedes. Or we say we have a word of destiny to you. O decimos tenemos una palabra de destino para ustedes. You know? Uh, and that's it. that's exactly what I want to share with you today. Yes, exactly lo que quiero compartir con I want to share with you today about destiny. Quiero compartir okay. acerca del destino. Because uh, sometimes we as believers, a veces nosotros como creyentes, sometimes we're just floating around, estamos flotando nomás, not exactly knowing what our destiny in the Lord is. Y no sabiendo exactamente cuál es nuestro destino en el Señor. No, I'm not talking about purpose. No estoy hablando de propósito. I'm talking about destiny. There's two different de things. Destino, que son dos cosas diferentes. Because purpose is the why you are here. Porque el propósito es el por qué estás aquí. But destiny is about where exactly are you headed. Pero el destino es hacia dónde vas. Amen. 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 You know, I've been meditating this week about uh, some men and women of God. He estado meditando esta semana en hombres y mujeres de Dios. Who in recent years passed away. Que en estos años han este partido en la presencia. And some of them have been. Uh, you know, I never met them personally, but they've been my teachers in Algunos a sense. Algunos no los he eh, conocido personalmente, pero han sido mis maestros en cierto sentido. Because I read their books and because I've been to their meetings and because I saw their their videos. Or Porque leí sus libros, estuve en sus reuniones, o miré sus videos. Uh, but they parted. They parted to the presence of the Lord. Pero partieron a la presencia del Señor. And these were considered to be generals in in, in the army of the Lord. Y se consideraban generales en el en el ejército del Señor. They were they were considered to be men and women of God of of. Uh, who you know were in high levels with the hombres y mujeres del señor que estaban en niveles altos en el señor but they parted they left pero partieron se fueron they left us they dejaron, left a legacy as well dejaron un legado también but at the same time many times i've asked myself uh, you know because you, you you think these people will stay with us you know forever y muchas veces me he preguntado uno piensa tal vez que estas personas se van a quedar para siempre you know until old age takes them hasta que la la vejez los los lleva but these people were fairly young Pero esas personas eran jóvenes. You know, in their 50s or 60s. 50, 60. And they parted because of health reasons. Y partieron por razones de salud. Or accidents. O accidentes. Not because of natural causes. No por causas naturales. You know? And and just many, you know, sometimes you have these questions as Christians. You y a veces como cristianos tenemos preguntas de los por qué. But I believe the answer lies in, in many times in the destiny. Pero pienso que la, la respuesta está en el destino. Because in a sense, these people who left us, porque en un sentido estas personas que nos dejaron, they finished their race. Terminaron su carrera. Because you see, Paul tells us in the Bible. Porque Pablo nos dice en la Biblia. Before it is time to be executed. Antes que sea el tiempo de ser ejecutado. Because you see, Paul was executed. Porque Pablo fue ejecutado. He didn't die of natural causes. No murió de causas naturales. He was executed. And when his time came, he said to Timothy. Le dijo a Timoteo. You know, I run the race. He corrido la carrera. I fought the good fight. Peleé la buena batalla. You know, now it's time for me to go. Y ahora es tiempo que me vaya. You know, he wasn't an old, not really an old man. Realmente no era un hombre viejo. In fact, most of the apostles were executed. Y muchos de los eh, de los apóstoles también. You know, only John the Beloved was said to, you know, have lived until very old age. Solo Juan fue el que vivió hasta eh, eh, hasta una edad avanzada. So what I'm trying to say is, is the, the destiny when when you when you finish your destiny in the Lord in this plan. Lo que quiero decir es cuando uno termina su destino en el Señor en este And it's your time for you to go. Y es su tiempo para you partir. Go. Uno se va. Amen. Because Amen. I remind this to people always when I speak. Siempre le recuerdo a las personas. You're not always going to be here forever. No vas a estar aquí para siempre. You know, in a hundred years, none of us will be here. Ninguno de nosotros estaremos aquí. None of us will be here. Ninguno estaremos. A lot of times we're focused on the temporal. Muchas veces nos nos enfocamos en las cosas temporales. What am I going to do tomorrow? Qué voy a hacer mañana? What am I going to do next year? Qué voy a hacer el próximo año? In five, ten years. En cinco, diez años. But very few of us actually prepare for eternity. Pero muy pocos nos preparamos para la eternidad. And it's it, obviously it's because a lot of sometimes we're we're afraid. Y es porque a veces tenemos temor. We don't want to think of the great beyond, what lies there. No queremos pensar en lo que está más adelante. But our time will come. Pero nuestro you tiempo know? vendrá. 
you know, I don't want to say die. No, you said morir. You know, it sounds ugly. Suena so I'll feo. just say, for the purpose of this Pero voy a hacer por, teaching, I'll just say passed on to the next realm. Pasar a ser it sounds better. Reino. Suena mejor. So I'll just reference death as passed on to the next Así realm. Que la muerte lo Póngalo como referencia so nobody is scared or offended. Para que nadie se okay. ponga temeroso ni se ofenda. So let's talk about destiny for a little bit. And Vamos just, a de just come with me to Revelations chapter 20. Vamos a Apocalipsis capítulo 20. And I want to read you a quote. Y quiero leerles algo. From Lance Wallnow. De Lance Wallnow. I'm not going to take credit for this quote because he said it. No es mío porque él lo dijo. But it's so good. Pero es tan bueno. And it is this. Your unfinished destiny is your greatest argument against death. Dice, tu destino que no ha sido terminado es tu mayor argumento en contra de la muerte. I'll say it again. If you write it down, you can write this down. Lo pueden escribir. Your unfinished destiny is your greatest argument against death. Tu destino que no ha sido terminado es tu mayor argumento en contra de la muerte. Exactly. So what basically that means is that until you you run your course in this planet lo que significa es hasta que uno corre esa car su carrera en este planeta death cannot claim you la muerte no te puede reclamar you see because unless of course you're in the wrong place and at the wrong time al menos que estés en el lugar equivocado en el tiempo equivocado because when, when we as believers I'm talking as believers estoy hablando como creyentes ahora when, when we don't run with the destiny that the Lord has for us cuando no corremos con el destino que Dios tiene para nosotros unfortunately uh, the time to go to the next realm comes earlier. As desafortunadamente, el tiempo para ir al próximo reino viene antes. You know, so there's an ordained time for all of us. Hay un tiempo We're gonna see para this para now nosotros. in the Bible. Y lo veremos ahora en la Biblia. You, your life has already been written down. Su vida ya ha sido escrita. It has been traced from your beginning to your end. Ha sido trazada desde el principio al fin. But you are the one who will walk the steps. Pero uno es el que camina y hace los pasos. Because you see, God will not force you to go the ways that He wants you to go. Porque Dios no te va a forzar a ir en That's your choice and that's my choice. Eso es en nosotros. Y, y lo okay. Que, so escoger. let's go to Revelation chapter 20. Vamos a Apocalipsis capítulo 20. Revelation chapter 20, we're going to read uh, verse 12. Vamos a ver, leer el versículo 12. And it says, And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books, according to what they had done. Y vi a los muertos, grandes y pequeños, de pie ante Dios, ante Dios. Y los libros fueron abiertos, y otro libro fue abierto, el cual es el libro de la vida. Y fueron juzgados los muertos por las cosas que estaban escritas en, en, en los libros según sus obras. Ok. So what does this mean? What does it say? It's ¿Qué very significa simple. y qué dice? Your life and my life is being recorded. Tu vida y mi vida están siendo grabadas in heaven. en el cielo. There are books that write our events. Hay libros que escriben nuestros eventos. And the things that we do. Las cosas que hacemos. There's a book of remembrance according to the Bible. Un, un, hay un libro de... de Recuerdos. There's a book of tears according to Psalms. Hay un libro de lágrimas de acuerdo a los salmos. A book uh, where all your tears are written. Donde todas tus lágrimas están escritas. Your sufferings, my sufferings. Sus sufrimientos, mis sufrimientos. There's a book of wars. Hay un libro de guerras. Which states all the wars that you and I fought. Que dice todas las guerras que tú y yo hemos peleado. But these books are not really complete yet because some of this, these things we have not lived them. Pero los libros no están completos todavía porque aún no hemos vivido ciertas cosas. So our lives are basically you know, recorded. Así que están grabados. 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. 7 days a week. 7 days a la semana. You know, there are angels all around just taking notes and hay ángeles alrededor tomando notas. With the, with the technology that we don't know about. Con la tecnología que no sabemos todavía. So everything is kept, you know, there. Así so our destinies ahí. are there because nuestros destinos están ahí. God, we're going to see now, we're going to go to Psalm 139, but we're going to see how God wrote our destiny. Pero vamos a ver cómo Dios escribió nuestro way destino. Even before Aún we antes que naciéramos. Okay, and I'm going to give you a definition of destiny. Y le voy a dar lo que significa destino. According to the dictionary, de acuerdo al diccionario, one definition says that destiny is something that is to happen or has happened to a particular person or thing, lot or fortune. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> El destino es algo 
que ha de pasar o ha pasado eh, a cierta persona o cierta cosa eh, por, por, no sé si por, fortuna. por fortuna o por cualquier cosa. Cualquier cosa. The second definition is uh, the predetermined or usually inevitable or irresistible course of events. I like that one better. Es un evento predestinado, inevitable o irresistible, en, 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 un curso de, curso de eventos. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to make something very clear. Sometimes we... We run to profits or we, or we run to conferences. Quiero decir algo bien claro. A veces vamos, corremos a los profetas o las conferencias. Because we want a prophetic word. Porque queremos una palabra Because profética. Because we want to know what our future is. Porque queremos saber cuál es nuestro futuro. Because we want to know what, what's going to happen, uh, you know, in years from now. Porque queremos saber qué es lo que va a pasar en los años adelante. And that is good. Y eso es bueno. We need to, uh, you know, seek a prophetic word. Porque necesitamos buscar una palabra profética. But also the Bible tells us. Pero también la Biblia nos dice. That in, only in part we prophesy. Que en parte profetizamos. And a lot of, I think a lot of mistake. That people make y muchos errores que las personas cometen is that they live by the prophetic words that they receive. Es que viven de las palabras proféticas okay. que reciben. When the Bible tells us that we are not to live by the prophetic word, cuando la palabra nos dice que no debemos de vivir por las palabras proféticas, but we are to live by faith. Pero tenemos que vivir por fe. Amen. Because what happens if somebody gives you a wrong prophetic word? Porque qué pasa que si alguien te da una palabra profética equivocada? And it veers you off to a destiny that the Lord has not have for you. Y te lleva a un destino que el Señor no tiene para ti. Amen. So. I have tons of tapes and CDs with prophetic words. Tengo cassettes y, y CDs montones. The Bible tells us to wait them. Las palabras nos dice que que las escudriñemos. Not to cast them aside. No las pongamos a un lado. But to take the good. Pero agarrar lo bueno. Reject the bad. Tener lo bueno y desecharlo malo. But you see, a prophetic word will not guide you to your destiny. Pero la, una palabra profética no te va a guiar a tu a tu destino. And I'll tell you why at the end. Y le voy a decir por qué al final. Okay. Because See the question that we we really want to pose is do you know what your destiny is? La pregunta que queremos hacer es ¿sabes cuál es tu destino? You know, I don't know if you've ever posed yourself that question or No sé si te know, has hecho esa pregunta or or do you have the answer to that question? O tienes la la respuesta. But the pregunta. answer is very simple. Pues la respuesta es bien simple. Let's go to Psalm 139. Vamos al Salmo 139. Psalm 139. I'm just going to read a, a portion of it. Obviously, una porción, uh, this psalm, I, I believe, you know, it's, you know, it's just wonderful. Uh, it really tells you what the Lord feels about you and me. But we're going to read verse 13 and onwards. Vamos a leer desde el versículo 13. Okay. It says, "For you formed my inward parts; you knitted me together in my mother's womb." Porque tú formaste mis entrañas, tú me hiciste en el vientre de mi madre. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works; my soul knows this very well. Te alabaré porque formidables, maravillosas son tus obras. Estoy maravillado y mi alma lo sabe muy bien. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. No fue encubierto en, de ti mi cuerpo, bien, en, en, bien que en oculto fue, fui formado y entretejido en lo más profundo de la tierra. Now look at verse 16. It says, Your eyes saw my unformed substance, and in your book were written every one of them. The days that were formed for me, when as yet there were none of them. Mi embrión vieron tus ojos, y en tu libro estaban escritas todas aquellas cosas que fueron luego formadas, sin faltar una de ellas. In another translation, it says the days that were fashioned for me. Y en otra traducción dice los días que fueron hechos por mí. Yeah. Yeah. Formados. Okay. The days that were fashioned for me, the days that were destined. Los días que fueron destinados o formados. Were already written before I was even born. Ya fueron escritos aún antes de haber nacido. Even before the earth was born. Aún antes de que la tierra hubiese nacido. This is how vast. And how expands is the mind of God. Eso es cuán grande y cuán eh, es el, el la mente de Dios. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Romans chapter eight. Vamos a Romanos capítulo ocho. Let's read 
Let's read verse 29. It says, For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Porque a los que antes conoció, también los predestinó para que fuesen hechos conformes a la imagen de su Hijo, para que Él sea el primogénito entre muchos hermanos. Verse 30. And those whom He predestined, He also called. And those whom He called, He also justified. And those whom He justified, He also glorified. Versículo 30. 30 y los que predestinó, a estos también llamó. Y a los que llamó, a estos también justificó. Y a los que justificó, a estos también glorificó. So you see, there is already a path that is laid out before you and me. Hay un camino que ya está trazado para ti y para mí. A path of destiny. Un, un camino de destino. That the Lord laid out just for you and me. Que el Señor puso para ti y para mí. Individual destinies. Destinos individuales. But for us to walk in it. Pero para que podamos caminar en ello. Not only is it our choice. No solo está en nosotros escoger. But it's also the the the. The receiving the revelation of, of what that destiny is. Pero es recibir la revelación de cuál es ese destino. The answer of receiving that destiny is not hard. La respuesta de recibir ese destino no es difícil. Because you can find that destiny. Porque puedes encontrar ese destino. Inside the heart of God. Dentro del corazón de Dios. It's very simple. Es bien simple. All you and I need to do to find out what your destiny is. Lo que tú y yo tenemos que hacer para encontrar tu destino y mi destino. Is to get close to the heart of God. Es acercarnos al corazón de Dios. Is to get close to the intimacy. Es acercarnos a la intimidad. That we as believers need. Que como creyentes necesitamos. Because the life force of a believer is intimacy with God. Porque ese es la, la, el fundamento de la de la de la de la vida en cristiano. You know, I, I always say there's there's Christians that have been unregenerated. Sí, he dicho que hay cristianos que no han sido regenerados. Okay, because. Mm -hmm. You, there's many Christians, many believers around the world who have accepted the Lord as a savior. Hay muchos cristianos alrededor del mundo que han aceptado a Jesús como salvador. But no change has taken place. Pero no ha habido ningún cambio. There hasn't been any regeneration. No ha habido ninguna regeneración. Because the old man has to die and the new one has to be born. tiene que morir y el nuevo tiene que nacer. Amen. And, 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 and because we don't know our destinies, we settle for the common life. Y porque no sabemos nuestro destino, and the common life la vida común. Y is la vida to just común float around es flotar nomás like a cloud and, una nube and just be pointless. Y no tener ningún significado. And this takes me back to the people of Israel. Y esto me lleva al pueblo de Israel. Because you see, the people of Israel were rescued from Egypt. Porque el pueblo de Israel fue rescatado They were rescued Egipto. from slavery. Fueron es rescatados de la esclavitud. Okay, that was the first step. Eso fue el primer paso. They left Egypt. Salieron de Egipto. But what did the Lord have for them Pero after they left Egypt? Pero qué tenía para ellos cuando salieron de Egipto? You all know this. But where, where, saben, where no? was Israel destined to go? ¿Dónde estaba en Israel predestinado? To the promised land. A la tierra prometida. Now, how long did they take to get to the promised land? ¿Cuánto tiempo se duraron para ir a la tierra prometida? Forty years. Cuarenta años. And you probably heard this in other messages. It didn't take for them long to get to the promised land. No se tardaron tanto para ir a la tierra prometida. It was not like they were lost in the desert. No era que estaban perdidos en el desierto. They knew where to go. Sabían a dónde ir. But it was just going around in circles. Pero estaban yendo, estaban dando vueltas. So many years in Egypt in slavery. Tantos años en Egipto en esclavitud. That they had no sense of purpose, no sense of destiny. Que no tenían ningún sentido de propósito ni destino. And that's how, how many times we can find ourselves in being. Y muchas veces nos podemos encontrar en el mismo lugar. You know, just you know, doing those circles. Haciendo esos círculos. Esas until, until we change. Hasta que cambiamos. Until we regenerate. Hasta que nos regeneramos. Until we have a different spirit, like Hasta Caleb que otro and Joshua. Espíritu como Josué y Caleb. And we're allowed to go into that destiny, that promised land. Y podemos ir al destino y a la tierra prometida. So this is the challenge. You know, este that I, I want to pose to you all. Que les quiero you know, proponer a todos. Are you walking in your destiny? Están caminando. Or are you destino? walking toward your destiny? Están That's the caminando better question. hacia su destino es la Or mejor pregunta. Are we walking toward our destiny? O estamos nosotros caminando hacia nuestro destino. Because we are going somewhere. Porque vamos hacia un lado. Even if we're going in circles, we're Aún actually si going somewhere. Dando vueltas vamos a un lado. Even if it's in the same place all over again. Aún yeah. si estás en el mismo lugar otra vez. Amen. 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 So this is the basic message that I wanted to share with you. Yes, es la All we have to do lo que que hacer to find out what our destiny is para encontrar cuál es nuestro is get close to the heart of God. Es acercarnos al corazón de Dios. You know, and He's eager to show us where to go. Y él nos quiere mostrar a dónde ir. You know, I think it's, maybe sometimes it's easier to find the purpose because purpose is very strongly tied to the gifts we have. Fácil encontrar el propósito porque es eh, está ligado a los dones que uno tiene. You know, you 
You have musical gifts. Tienes dones musicales. You know, it's obvious that you're gonna go that road. Es obvio, es obvio que vas a ir por ese camino. And the Lord will use you with those gifts. Y el Señor te va a usar con esos dones. You know, but that doesn't mean that you, you know, that your destiny will take you, the, you know, to a, you know, a concert. Pero eso no quiere decir que tu destino te va a llevar a un concierto. Or, or, or to, you know, reunite masses. O a reunir eh, una multitud. You know, there's a pr the purpose that is there. Sometimes the day we get to heaven. El propósito que está ahí el día que lleguemos al cielo. You know, maybe the Lord meant for us to be a lawyer. Tal vez el Señor quería que fuéramos un abogado. And we became an evangelist. Y nos convertimos en evangelistas. Or the other way around. O al revés. You know, believe it or not, there are destinies in the secular realm for us to go to. Hay en, en, en los secular destinos en los cuales nosotros tenemos que ir. Because how are we going to rescue the lost? If we Porque cómo vamos a rescatar a los perdidos si no vamos a lo secular? You know, it's meant to be... God places people strategically everywhere. Dios pone a las personas estratégicamente en diferentes lugares. So that's the word that I have for you. Y esa es la palabra que tengo. I know it's very simple and very brief. Sé que es bien simple y breve. But I want to pray. I want to pray for, 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 for the Lord to really you know, manifest his, his destiny. Para que el Señor manifieste, manifieste su destino. His destiny each in each of us. In each su destino one of us. en cada uno de nosotros. You know, for all of you who are here, for all of you who are watching, los que están aquí, los que nos están mirando, there is a destiny of the Lord that is there waiting for you. Del Señor que está ahí esperándote. Whether you are in your old age Yo or whether you are in the youngest, avanzada, avanzada, o estés joven, uh, the destiny still waits there for you. El destino aún está ahí esperándote. You know, I, I'm always reminded of Samson. Siempre me, me recuerdo de Samson. Samson was a judge of Israel. Samson era un juez de Israel. But his destiny was deviated. Pero su destino fue desviado. Because of mistakes that he made in his life. Por errores que él cometió en su vida. But at the very end of his life. Pero al final de su vida. When he was a slave to the enemy. Cuando fue esclavo al enemigo. He asked the Lord for one more chance. Él le pidió al Señor una oportunidad más. To defeat the enemy. Para derrotar al enemigo. And the Lord gave it to him. Y el Señor se la dio. And that was also the day of his parting. Y eso fue el día también que partió. You can find the story in, in, the, y lo pueden encontrar in Judges. En el libro de jueces. So even... Whatever your age is or whatever you're at, the Lord will always Cuando give you the chance sea que estés, el Señor siempre te dará una oportunidad to fulfill that destiny that He wrote for you. Ese destino que él escribió para ti. You know, I strongly believe that those men and women of God that I mentioned to you Realmente creo que esos hombres y mujeres Dios que les mencioné have finished their course, han terminado su have carrera, finished their race, han terminado su and carrera. it was time for them to go. Y era tiempo que se fueran. You know, and sometimes, you know, we don't know when we're going to go. We don't know when we're going to pass to the next realm. But what we do know is what we want to go and we want to present to the Lord what He meant us to do here. So we're just going to stand up and we're going to pray. We really thank you again for joining us. Gracias por estar con nosotros. And Wherever you are in the world, donde sea que esté en el mundo, we believe God destined you to be a world changer. Creemos que el Señor te ha predestinado para cambiar el mundo. Where your feet are stepping, donde tus pies estén pisando, are are meant to be. You are meant to be an influencer. Tienes que ser una persona de influencia. And and may the Lord just guide you. Y que el Señor te guíe to the destiny that He has for you. Para el destino que él tiene para ti. But this is the word. Pero esta es la palabra. Get close to his heart. Acércate a su corazón. Get close to his heart like Acércate John the Beloved. Como Juan el Amado. John the Beloved was the only Juan el apostle, era el único apóstol, the only disciple, el único discípulo, who would dare to lean on Jesus' shoulder que se like this. A, a apoyarse en el, en el hombro de Jesús. And he was able to hear his heartbeat. Que podía escuchar el latir de su corazón. No other disciple knew his heartbeat. Ningún otro discípulo conocía el latir de su corazón. Any more than John did. Como Juan lo sabía. You know, and John Juan, was the one who, you know, lasted the longest. Fue el que tardó más. You know, John lasted until his old age. Hasta su eh, eh, vejez. You know, and that, that, that's what the Lord wants from us. Y eso es lo que el Señor quiere de he nosotros. says, know my heartbeat. Que conozcamos el know my heartbeat. Corazón. And I believe that his heartbeat beats differently for y each one of us. Su corazón es diferente para It's cada not the same heartbeat. No es el mismo. It's not the same. So Lord, I just thank you for those who are, are tuning in and those who are here for our service. Father, we ask you that uh, you help us to, to find our destiny that you have traced for us. That we may come close to your heart, Lord. Give us the grace 
gracia. Give us the grace, give us the gift. Danos la gracia, danos el don. To, to just get closer to you in these last days. Para acercarnos más a ti en estos últimos días. May be fulfilled. Que nuestros destinos sean cumplidos. And that the time will come when our time to go y que el tiempo vendrá cuando nos, sea nuestro tiempo de ir that you will take us at the right time que tú nos lleves en el momento correcto and in the right place y en el lugar correcto that we may not deviate from our course que no nos desviemos del camino but that we may go directly to where you want us to go pero que vayamos directamente a donde tú quieres que vayamos fill us with purpose Lord llénanos con propósitos and fill us with destiny y llénanos con destino we ask you in the name of Jesus te pedimos en el nombre de Jesús I ask for each and one of your sons and daughters te pido por cada uno de tus hijos even those who may be watching who are not your 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 sons and daughters yeah, who, are, who don't know you exist a unos que están viendo y que no sean tus hijos e hijas que no sepan que existes I want to speak a word of destiny to them as well quiero hablar una palabra de destino a ellos también the lord has a path for you to el señor tiene un camino para ti he wants you to draw near and I believe that he wants you to experience his presence like never before just get near to him and you will know that he is real you will know that he is real and he will show you the path he will show you the way Father we thank you we thank you for your presence we thank you for your Holy Spirit we bless you Lord we ask you to give us even more of your presence more of your glory Lord and this year Lord may we draw closer to the destiny that you have for us in the name of Jesus Amen Amen well it's been a pleasure to be with you all once again we hope that uh, this word uh, you know blessed you esperemos que esta palabra haya bendecido and you know, the Lord will do great things this week. And just, uh, you know, go and seek Him. Get near His heart. And His destiny is not far from you. So we bless you and we'll see you next week. Amen.